Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Makeathon screening. Yeah, everybody worked super hard on this film, and I'm really excited to introduce the Pennsylvania Secret Bistro, <laughs> an open signal production. <laughs> so, this is the first ever open signal makeathon. This is the first one of these we've ever done. Uh, and, like I said, the debut screening of Pennsylvania Secret Bistro, best name ever. <laughs> Um, it's also the soft launch for our membership program. So our membership program is radically inclusive. As you may or may not know, it just costs $1 a year per person to be a member at Open Signal. And as an Open Signal member, you get access to members-only classes, members-only collaborative events like this one, and a members-only newsletter along with other events like committees and uh, steering groups. So, uh, because the price, or even though the price is just $1 a year, we are hoping that members will donate in addition to the $1. Uh, we're hoping for an average donation of $45, which means that some people will donate much more than that, and some people will donate much less. And uh, there is no tiers in our membership program. A dollar membership is exactly the same experience as a $40 membership, a $100 membership, a $1,000 membership. So that is um, our commitment to equity at OpenSignal. Um, Makeathon is a microcosm of membership. It is all about staff and producers working together to make experiences, to learn from each other, and to create collaborations that um, allow us to grow our practice as filmmakers, as creatives, uh, as professionals, and hobbyists. So um, the script outline was written in secret for this film. No one uh, except select staff members had read the entire script outline before this screening tonight, uh, before Makeathon today. The three different teams who made our film that we're about to see filmed, uh, cloistered away from each other. The only person who has seen this film isn't in its entirety is Vo, <laughs> who's our editor. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and so without further ado, uh, we're going to screen this film. After the film is screened, we're going to have a Q&A. So everybody, if you have a question, feel free to ask a question. And as a maker, if there's a question that you have an answer to, just come on up and answer it during the Q&A. So anytime you want to start the film, guys. Vivian, it's been a while. You always were a little laugh, didn't you? Uh, Philip. Oh, Miriam. King of pens and pencils. I'm the assistant director of the Bureau of Pens and Pencils. They call me the uh, the king here in our town. Not anymore. Let the whole department of pens and pencils are going. But you, you get to keep your job. You get promoted. Why have I not heard anything about this? Did you hear about the exuberant Yellows Committee? No. Well, you're ahead of it now. Come. Do you know about this? Uh, sort of. Sort of? I heard you were getting promoted to chair at the Yells. Exuberant Yells, as opposed to, uh, king of pens and pencils. That's my place. The nobility of the pen and the pencil. 
the spoken word would be nowhere if it wasn't for the pencil. Well, look at the plus side. You get to work with kids. I might have led the kid. I'm sure something good will come out of it. I don't do well with chains. I should call the police and tell them about this. You need to get to the bottom of this. Remember everything I taught you. Absolutely. Come. Oh, did you hear? Yeah. yeah. I don't have a job anymore. Uh, I've been laid off. I've got one week to find a job. I'm so sorry. I am too, but I'm looking forward to a new day in a new company. As a matter of fact, I have a couple of leads. So I'm going to try that. I may not be the uh, Prince of Pencils anymore. But, uh, well, can I count on you for a letter of recommendation? Absolutely. All right. You've been great. Thank you so much. All right. Good to see you. Got a couple questions for you. By all means. We need to write this down. Do something to write with. Okay, so who's the bad guy? Obviously, whoever promoted me. Hmm. Probably somebody from Oh, Hidden Signal. Have you ever heard the story of the Tree of Life? The grass tree. It goes through many different uh, variations. The Norse, the Japanese. The first pencil was made from a very similar cutting of wood. Okay, okay, okay. The question is, can you yell? Yo, Cindy. Congratulations! You are the chairman of Exuberant Yelps! You're right, you know, I don't know, um, there's not much I can do on this one, so I got transferred. You gotta understand, I was like the chair of like laughing too much, <laughs> uh, nervously too or whatever, much. and yeah, you know, uh, um, I just got transferred, and I don't really know why they transferred me, because you, you were up to get that. You were, you were next. I was next? Well you then why did you get it? You know, I don't know. So, you remember the class we took in college? Oh, I love that class. Mr. Wilson was such a goofy guy. Oh. <laughs> Man, we did really well in that class, didn't we? Yeah, you did. Me? And you. No, I wasn't there. What? Wait, are you serious? <laughs> yeah. I am. <laughs> you remember Tim? Do you remember Tim in the back? Oh, he's yeah, cute. yeah, yeah. Great. He's so great. I know. He was super cute. He's so cute. I, uh, he asked me, I, I told him to. Tell the teacher I was there. No so, way. Yeah. No, no way. So, what are you, what are you gonna do? So I failed the class. A, I need your help. B, please don't tell anyone. Mm, well, <laughs> okay. Let me think about this. Um, you're gonna have to do whatever some stuff you for want. me. Whatever, right, I want. whatever you want. Okay. I want a puppy, and I want um, my favorite movie, The Breakfast Club, on DVD. Okay. I need a new colander for my spaghetti, because I like spaghetti. And uh, let's see. Um, I'm really tired of this apartment. I really like my own Whoa. apartment. Okay, yeah. you want me to yeah. buy you a new apartment? No, no, no. Rent. Rent. Yeah, rent. That it's, only, it's only like, um, I don't know, 600 bucks a month, maybe? It's a, it's a stu it would be a, I, I could do a How studio. about I get you a pony with one eye, and it's potty trained, and we can take it out every day? Well, that's, that's, that's very tempting. It really is. But, um... We can do that, and I want to go into space really bad, like in a shuttle. I mean, you don't have to buy the shuttle or anything, but um, you can like maybe arrange for me to fly in a shuttle into space because it's really cool. Let's go up there. <laughs> this okay, fine, good. fine. The weird looking pony. We have to <laughs> yes, Mule. All right. Okay, so where do we start? Just basically be yourself. Be myself. Yeah. Like you know how to be yourself, right? No, not really. So oh, come on. Just show me an example. Okay, I don't okay. Know, like, like you just, what you just, want me to do? just walk in. Okay. Like I can yell exuberantly. Okay, like how? Like this. Yeah. Okay. So so I don't right. want to see your version. You okay. can do it. Hah! That that sounded like you're trying to do karate. No, 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 no. It's gotta be like you've gotta give it everything. Like, yeah! Yeah! Okay. 
Yeah. We're gonna do it together. Okay. Okay. No. 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 We're gonna do it really good. Okay. Ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. gonna rock. Okay. You're gonna do awesome. Okay. <laughs> we're not dorks at all. No, are we? Not at all. We're best friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Do you think maybe we live in a emotionally repressed society? Maybe that's why this is uh, catching on? Could be. It could be. I mean, I'm not a sociologist myself, but people do seem to hide behind screens more and more these days. Screens, masks, uh, illusions, facades. Who is really me? Who is really you? You know, when I look in the mirror, and I start yelling, exuberantly yelling at myself, just screaming at the top of my lungs. I feel better about myself. But I really have to yell inside that mirror and I really have to yell at myself and stare into my eyes and yell. Um, look, let's try this. Look, look me straight in the eye. And tell me what you're thinking without thinking I want this very eat. second, but but yell it. I want to eat you. Now, how do you feel? I feel pretty good. Yeah. Um, I don't know yeah. necessarily can where I, that came from. It, can I give you a hug? Of course. I just want to say thank you. <laughs> Let it all out. Let it all out. Gabriel, you're younger. What? I am? You did it. Oh my god. It was the exuberant yelling. How do you feel? I'm different. I feel, I feel a lot younger now. Like, like I can run a million miles. And your soul has been cleansed, right? Yes. Oh, it's a miracle. It really is, it truly is. The number one application for exuberant yelling. It's the fountain of youth in everyone's life. So Jack Sparrow was wrong. All he had to do was look inside of himself? That's right. This is you. This is me. This is the whole world together. Inside of that, too, my tiny little thing? It's a metaphor, Gabriel. I laughed so hard I cried. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, uh, we have a mic in the back that anyone who has a question can go to the mic and ask the question, and we can have people from the team come up here and answer it. Oh, yeah, go back there. Uh, we're going to use the microphones for questions so that everybody can pick us up. I would like to know... How long did it take this organization to put this together? Uh, well. Because we have the 24-hour film festivals. And this was like, what, eight hours? So how much time did you put in beforehand of getting this all together? We spent the longest that we, the most time that we spent physically working was last night we built all the sets. So that took about four hours, and there were about four of us. But we started planning this event 
in March. I'm looking at Rebecca. January. We started planning this event in January. And most of it was figuring out how it would work with the timing, with the resources we had available, um, everything like that. We knew that we wanted to make an event that was collaborative and that let producers collaborate with each other and make something together. Uh, because back in the fall, we did a survey of the community and that was a big answer that people wanted more opportunities to collaborate with the staff and each other. So that was our big ethos. That was the thing that we ran with. That was our priority. Uh, just one more question. So are we going to do this again? Do you guys want to do it again? Yeah? yeah? yeah. <laughs> it sounds like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, look forward to next year. We already have some great ideas for how we're going to make it even more awesome. Hi, can you share some light about how the lighting is used with the actors in the scenes as well as the editing, the yeah. transitions and so forth? So lighting operators, come on up here. Let's hear some stuff from you all. Woo! So, I'm talking to the mic. And real quick, I'm mostly interested in shadows. How do you decide the background and the foreground and so forth? Uh, in uh, we did the the second part of it, and it was a group effort and kind of figure out the lighting. But because we were in B, we were able to use the um, house lights, the um, on the the ceiling for the. Um, on the left, you see the um, the actor who's who's illuminated by the the lamp, which which I think actually didn't make it into the the yeah. final cut. But but we wanted to have that that uh, effect of the lamp be recreated by the the overhead, and then we used uh, an LED panel light on the side to provide some fill, and then we used another light which was set really low to fill in the shadows in the eyes um, so that we had a we had a pretty good fill so but we were um, it was nice for us to be and be to be able to to, to take advantage of all that um, light hey we we did the uh, the third scene the one in the cafe um, I, I think because we were in the back annex, uh, there's a lot of natural light coming in right behind him. You saw that. Um, and we wanted to try to capture that as a really nice backlight. Um, make sure we didn't blow out uh, you know, the, the scene, but it's, it's kind of nice to um, show like you're kind of in a real cafe maybe. Uh, and we just had a couple you know, key lights on either side of the, of the table. But yeah, I really want to get the... Um, the person being interviewed, our protagonist, to be in front of that um, that really cool translucent door. I thought that's just really neat. Mm -hmm. And we framed him in such a way that it didn't look like a door; it looked like a window pane. <laughs> so awesome. Um, to answer the question a little bit. Uh, what we did in the first one, um, I was having issues with the lighting as well. Not a lot of us are cinematographers. It's very hard to understand lighting, to trying to get a fill, a key, and a back. So what we did was we tried to get really close and try to just get close-ups. So if we had shadow back there, we didn't catch it as much. And we used different color gels to kind of just give it a setting. So that can always uh, change the effect on how something looks. At the same time, if we're doing the scene and there's too much shadow, well, we just kind of close it up, get a little intimate, and just avoid the... The shadows and that's a cheat is not the right way to do it <laughs> more questions Beverly where did you get these wonderful actors from where do we get these wonderful actors from so we got the actors from actually a myriad of different places uh, we got some of the actors from kickstand comedy uh, we also got some of the actors from the Portland it's Pata, P-A-T-A, Portland Alliance Theaters, Switchboard. And then we also got uh, several from Facebook. Eric Klein, who was the director on the bistro scene, uh, posted for us in several of uh, his Facebook groups where he has connections with actors. So we cast a wide net for actors, and we're very grateful for the actors that came and participated.
Yeah, do any of our actors want to come and share your experience with working with this unique thing? <laughs> Come on up. Hi, I'm Christopher Cowan. My first time to Open Signal, and I just got to say I'm very stoked uh, with this very eclectic family. Uh, a lot of great, wonderful personalities, great uh, artistic energy, and just really, if you pardon me, kick-ass people. Uh, it's it's nice to to come to a place that uh, being an oddball and a misfit fits right in. So, <laughs> thank you. Other actors? <laughs> you did perform. Come on up. So I got to perform because we needed somebody to perform, and I just stepped in and I had a great time, so thank you. <laughs> Well, it was very nice. I came here, I saw it on the Facebook thing, and um, I hadn't done improv in quite a while, so it was, everybody made me feel comfortable, and I had a great time, and that's what I came down here for, was to have a good time and meet a lot of really good people, and all came true. <laughs> All right. It looks like we got one more question coming up. My name is Michael. I've been a long time member. First time, uh, first question. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I want to know uh, what it was like for these new graduates of Echo Air to come and work with the adult misfits uh, <laughs> in a in a production yeah echo air come on up yeah come on share <laughs> oh okay it's gonna make me go first <laughs> so yeah it was really fun to be able to work with um Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really fun to be able to work with everybody today, um, especially after Echo Airs. It, it was um, it was a sort of different experience, but it was also e even better because it felt like it felt like a real production today. It felt really official, so that was really fun. So yeah. So yeah, a lot. It was a lot like what Ailey said. Uh, I think it was kind of scary at first because uh, I'm a lot shorter and everybody's really tall. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, once I got to know everybody, it was, it was really fun. We had a lot of laughs and we had a really fun time making this project. I think it was pretty cool. I didn't really, I didn't know anybody I was working with, so it was cool to work with people that I never met before, um, and also people that kind of had their own specialties to bring. Most of the people in my team didn't know how to use the cameras, and I did. So, I, yeah. So I was able to help. I felt like I was actually helping with something. <laughs> yeah. Thank you to the youth of Echo Air. So for those of you who don't know, Echo Air is a program that we do with youth. Uh, it's a free after school program. Uh, they have just finished completing a feature film uh, that we screened here a couple weeks ago. So very talented youth, filmmakers of tomorrow and today. <laughs> so more questions. Oh, where do you sign up to be a member? Great question, Janice. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, so right outside these doors at the front desk, uh, I will be taking money. I also take credit cards and checks and uh, printing membership cards for everyone who signs up to be a member tonight. So...
Oh, one more question. You have to be a producer to be a member? No, you don't, Michael. Thank you for asking. <laughs> you don't have to be a producer to be a member. No, uh, you don't have to be a producer to be a member. You just have to love Open Signal. I love Open Signal. Yeah. <laughs> sign up today. When can I sign up? You can sign up on May 25th. Thank you, Gustavo. <laughs> So May 25th is when we're going to start printing membership cards for everyone who's not here right now. Robert. So you're saying, <laughs> for one dollar, oh, I can take all this stuff and be a member for a year? <laughs> I sure am. <laughs> all right, everybody. Now that we've heard from the audience, <laughs> let's, <laughs> you can. <laughs> So let's all go to the lobby and get ourselves some membership. Yeah. <laughs>